The Seeker Pack has been around since 2017 and it's a very popular product from GoPro. And its main purpose at the time was a camera bag and it was about 14 liters. Since then, there's been several uh, iterations of the Seeker Pack. The next iteration was the second generation Seeker Pack, which was 18 liters. And now there's the GoPro Backpack, Day Pack, Day Tripper. Now, the reason why I got the Seeker Pack was because I needed a backpack for the uh, Karma drone. And I like the Karma drone. I've used it for uh, maybe about uh, several years. And it, the, it, it, the only thing that I was wanted was that I wanted something to hold all my cameras, as you see, and to hold the Karma drone, which I could use either the Hero 5 or the Hero 7, and I could use it as I please. The problem with using the backpack that came with the Karma drone is that it's a great backpack, but it doesn't have a lot of pockets. And the only thing you can do is pretty much carry the Karma drone and that's about it. I mean, you could hold maybe about two or three more batteries, but forget about water, forget about lunch, forget about snacks. And it really wasn't that great for hiking day trips, but it, it is a great pack and it's a great case and it holds the Karma drone and in a pinch you can use it. I mean, it's, there's nothing wrong with it, well designed, but I needed something that I could hold a few more things in rather than just the Karma drone. So I got the Seeker Pack and I found that it was a very good backpack for holding everything that I needed. And it just was a 14 liter pack. Um, well designed, had straps all over the place. Well constructed. It even had a area on the top that I could put my cameras in. And it just was, uh, it just suited my needs. And the question is, would my Karma drone fit into there? and it was quickly answered. Yeah, inside this um, backpack, there's all these nice little pockets, vinyl pockets, and I often wondered, what am I gonna use that vinyl pocket for? Well, you could put all your other accessories or something that you don't wanna get messed up in the backpack. Uh, for instance, you don't wanna get a snack on your Karma drone. Bottom of the pack, great. Sides, you have all these little straps, and um, plus you can see how I modified that. And the reason why I modified the backpack was so I could um, carry the drone on the outside. And that's partially why I did this video as well. We want to see um, a way that we could quickly attach the Karma drone to the backpack. The straps are really, really comfortable. The back is really comfortable. And then also the it had a chest strap and it had a waist strap. And it also has attachment points for uh, the uh, poles and also for the GoPro camera on the left strap. So all in all, it's a, it's a really great fully packed. I mean, with the drone and everything inside, it was really, really well made. And, and it's very compact and comfortable on your back. So like I said, um, if you had anything that you modified on your Karma drone, your controller, if you have anything else that you wanted to put on your drone or on your controller, it no longer fit in the case. Because of the design of the Seeker, um, you're able to modify it and uh, it can fit many, many different modifications and things. Inside the Seeker pack, uh, you had numerous pockets to hold the uh, batteries, as you can see, and it, it's fairly deep and you could actually place the drone in very, very snugly, but you have to take the propellers off. And so on the outside, we have the straps that I used to modify and so that we can place the drone on the outside. On the top, I put a, usually put a Hero 7 with a uh, small shorty tripod, and then in the pockets, again, uh, the batteries. Uh, inside, uh, you can also arrange the dividers so that you can hold several GoPros if you wanted to. Uh, I didn't really have that many times when I had to use more than the Hero 7 and a tripod, so not so necessary. Now inside the uh, inside, you have that vinyl pocket that we showed originally. Again, you can put snacks in there, but this padded pocket was where I put the controller with the range extender 
and you can see it sticking out of that pocket and you can see the drone inside the internal of the backpack with props and other things extra batteries and maybe a rain guard if needed uh, and it, it just fit everything in there you can see it fits really really snugly and when you put it on your back it feels very very comfortable no uncomfortable feeling at all no bulges that hit you in the back because of the special padding that you did on the back of the backpack so that this portion that contacts your back really is comfortable and cushioned. Now what I wanted to show you were these the difference between the Day Tripper and the GoPro Seeker. It's these attachments that you can put the pole on and that pole uh, will hold several cameras and I said the evolution at, at the beginning of this the title of this video is that it's the evolution of the backpack uh, is that it can hold uh, the new Max. Now here I am taking the uh, Karma drone off of the front of the backpack so that uh, I can I can fly pretty quickly. And notice that the propellers are still attached. That's one of the advantages of having the GoPro Karma uh, attached to the outside using the strapping system that I have there. And then I'm in this case I put the battery inside the the backpack because of the uh, possibility that it might fall out while I'm riding. It never did. Now here's how I attached it to the tiny little uh, openings in the front of the backpack. I put little red uh, straps and attached uh, clips to the uh, straps. And with doing that, I did it through using a crisscross uh, attachment. I was able to put the GoPro with propellers fully attached and with, as you can see, the uh, camera and the uh, stabilizer still on there. In this particular view um, right here, I put the waist strap around the back of it too, just to make sure that the GoPro doesn't slip out. But I never have had it slip out while riding my bicycle, while walking and hiking around. It's pretty secure. And, you know, for the Karma, that's what this pack really was really, really designed for. Um, just to, so that you can carry your Karma around, uh, it, make it a little bit more portable. Now, what I wanted to also talk about was um, the GoPro Seeker compared to the Vector Sling Bag by Tenba. And it, it's about the same size as the Tenba, Tenba Sling Pack. I actually have used it many, many times as well to carry cameras. It's a well-established camera bag that um, fits very well for uh, the GoPro cameras. Well-constructed, just like the GoPro Seeker. Um, but it, 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 it's, it was created in 2008. And so, it, uh, it, they, number one, they have added uh, pole straps to it as well. But this one doesn't have any, so it's somewhat limited for the use with my uh, GoPro. Compared to the... Um, uh, the top of the Centenba, very similar. You got a nice little compartment. I put my controller in there and um, inside this I put uh, little batteries and, and a box for my smaller drone that I have taken off island in, and to the mainland as a matter of fact. And it's a really, really good sling bag as well. But it's not a, quite as good as uh, to hold a Karma drone. Obviously it would be very difficult to hold a Karma drone in this. It wouldn't fit. And on the outside, you, there's no way you can put a modification to even put a, a Karma drone on there. So it just, just doesn't really, really fit for me uh, for that purpose. But it's still a very nice uh, camera bag. And what many photographers feel is the standard. I mean, as a camera bag, as a small drone bag, I mean, it's just really, really excels. So I have nothing to say about, um, or anything bad to say about the 10 bus sling bag. Highly recommended, and you can you could use that as well. But as you can see, the Seeker compares very well to the Tenba. It's about the same size, it's uh, maybe a third bigger, and uh, it holds a lot more stuff. I mean, again, the, the you can hold other things in there, like uh, it has a it has a, a water bladder section in the Seeker bag that you don't have with the Tenba. It has uh, it, it has uh, pockets that you can put water bottles and it has places that you can put snacks. So um, as, as a day pack slash 
camera bag, the seeker is superior and indefinitely you could not hold the GoPro Karma drone on the uh, or in the Tenba. So the, I think that there's are just just really some advantages to the Seeker. So there you have it. Um, the Seeker Pack compares very nicely to a industry standard sling bag, and it just is a really really good camera bag and especially a pack for your Karma drone. And I hope this video helps you to decide and maybe give you some ideas about how you can modify your Seeker Pack so that it can fit the Karma drone on the outside. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.